Benchmarking for Reform. Using the Agribusiness Regulation and Institutions Index to meet Feed the Future objectives. Efficient and effective administration of the legal and regulatory framework makes it easier to do business in the agricultural sector and increases the sector's resiliency in the face of shocks. Yet to date, no cross-country comparable data on the efficiency or effectiveness of government administration have been available for Feed the Future partners to use as part of their agricultural sector reform efforts. To meet this need, USAID commissioned the development of the Agribusiness Regulation and Institutions Index, or AGRI for short, a tool to provide clear and easy to understand metrics on the ease of doing business in the agricultural sector across countries and over time. Citizens everywhere expect their governments to ensure some level of safe, affordable, and abundant food supplies. As a result, Governments treat the business of agriculture unlike any other sector. Despite the importance of agriculture, or perhaps because of it, this unique treatment frequently leads to distinct and disproportionate obstacles to agribusiness startup, operation, and long-term growth. Creating an enabling environment for agriculture is central to the Feed the Future framework. Cutting across each of the Feed the Future pillars the enabling environment for agriculture is the foundation for achieving success in all other areas. Agri-data fill Feed the Future's immediate need for comparable metrics on the enabling environment for agriculture in order to support global program design and monitoring and evaluation, complementing efforts to monitor the U.S. government's global investments in agriculture. Agribusinesses routinely face burdensome regulatory requirements involving numerous costly procedures and lengthy delays. In some instances, the burden of compliance is more significant than the cost of official fees. Substantial academic literature and practical experience suggest that a weak agribusiness enabling environment reduces investment and sales and creates disincentives for agribusinesses to operate in the formal economy all critical aspects of USAID's work in the agricultural sector. By collecting, organizing, and analyzing select data on the business environment for agriculture, AGRI helps governments, donors, and others by simplifying complex technical topics and boiling them down to their changeable aspects that relate to time, cost, and procedure. By measuring what matters to agribusiness, the tool identifies barriers to doing business in the agricultural sector that can be addressed through discrete, legal, regulatory, or administrative change. It draws upon a considerable body of empirical evidence demonstrating that government regulation is an important determinant of economic growth, affecting rates of entrepreneurship, trade, and investment. AGRI focuses on seven core topics, which narrow down further into a subset of key quantifiable and actionable indicators. Combined, the AGRI topics and indicators provide a comprehensive index to assess the agribusiness enabling environment in a given country, across countries, and over time. Positive reforms in the areas measured by the AGRI index are expected to make starting and operating an agribusiness easier and more profitable, thereby contributing to lower production costs, deeper input markets, streamlined trade processes, and reduced regulatory compliance costs. The perishable nature of agricultural goods makes efficient trade processes a necessity. Yet controls unique to agricultural trade, such as sanitary and phytosanitary inspections and tests to ensure that goods conform to quality and health standards, can add significant and unpredictable costs and delays to moving agricultural products across borders without providing additional security to plant or animal health. These border-related delays increase the cost of trade in the same manner as import or export duties and taxes, which in turn reduce the volume of trade. Fewer requirements, improved coordination between government agencies, reduced inspection and wait times, better physical infrastructure, 
and electronic systems all contribute to a faster and more reliable system for agricultural trade. Each additional document required by border authorities tends to introduce additional time and cost to the export process because the exporter or its agent must make a separate trip in person to the relevant government office. Excessive documentation can also indicate deeper coordination problems in export management. In Kenya, for example, the large number of documents reflects the involvement of up to eight government agencies in the export of agricultural goods. Countries can make exporting easier and more efficient by reducing the number, complexity, and approval time for key trade documents. For example, the Netherlands dramatically decreased processing and compliance time by reducing the number of data points that an exporter must provide by more than 80%. Increasing farmer productivity and income depends on access to and availability of affordable, high quality, and high performing seed. However, many governments control the entry of new varieties into the market which delays the introduction of new, more desirable traits desired by farmers. High costs for registering varieties are passed on to farmers. This creates a cycle of low demand because of high costs and limited innovation because of restricted access to useful traits. Evidence suggests that lower registration costs and increased access to diverse seed varieties spur innovation in the agricultural sector and build a strong foundation for future growth. Harmonizing seed variety registration policy and procedures at a regional level is one approach that tends to lower the cost and time associated with seed varietal registration in a single country. Across agri-countries, administrative procedures were found to be lengthy, opaque, and unpredictable. Inefficiencies such as decaying paper records, inaccurate land surveys, or a shortage of trained surveyors may reflect constraints inherent to the legal framework for property rights and or a weak land administration system. As a result, despite expensive and lengthy processes to transfer rural land, farmers may not end up with the security of tenure they need. A well-functioning property system enables farm operators to increase on-farm investment and productivity by increasing the size of their land holdings and investing in more intensive agricultural production systems. Land administration systems are complex. It is unrealistic to assume that focal countries could overhaul their land administration to be as efficient as the benchmark countries in a short period of time. A side-by-side -side comparison highlights where constraints exist and identifies specific processes to be streamlined. By reviewing the agribusiness enabling environment across 10 countries, we were able to draw a number of conclusions about a select group of Feed the Future countries, a starting point for deeper and more meaningful engagement of the agribusiness enabling environment globally. For example, first, Complex and unpredictable regulatory requirements increase costs and reduce incentives for agribusinesses to become legitimate, competitive enterprises. There is an immediate need for simpler and more efficient regulations governing the agricultural sector. Reducing the time, cost, and complexity of regulatory requirements allow agribusinesses to focus on their core activities and provides greater incentive to invest in the sector. Second, poorly delineated legal authority and lack of coordination between agencies creates uncertainty and increases the compliance burden for agribusinesses. Overlapping roles among regulatory authorities lead to confusion, extraneous requirements, and a waste of resources. Third, implementing institutions lack capacity to enforce regulatory requirements. Government institutions tasked with administering specific elements of the legal and regulatory framework for the agricultural sector are hamstrung by a lack of internal capacity. 
This increases the time and cost required for agribusinesses to comply with regulatory requirements. Fourth, absence of a functioning legal and regulatory framework may lower the time and cost of operating an agribusiness in the short run, but creates operational uncertainty in the long run. Shortfalls in regulatory schemes constrain agribusinesses by introducing significant uncertainty about the scope and applicability of regulatory requirements, and thus limit long-term investment and growth. By design, AgriData provide comparative results from other countries that identify similar regulatory shortfalls and suggest examples of effective systems and approaches that could be adopted. AgriData will add depth to the conversation within USAID and beyond about the importance of the legal, regulatory, and institutional environment related to agriculture. We expect that the data from this index and the efforts that follow will illuminate the broad array of institutional governance choices available to policymakers to address the challenges of managing the agricultural sector in a way that promotes the public good and recognizes the importance of facilitating agribusiness growth as a means to economic growth, poverty reduction, and increased food security. The AgriData have the potential to support missions in their unique contexts. Missions where these data are available have adapted them to their own needs, most recently using them to design programs and build a platform for engaging host country governments. For example, USAID Uganda used Agri to inform the design of a Feed the Future project, leveraging the data to create an actionable and achievable reform agenda focused on the agribusiness enabling environment. The regional mission in Bangkok used Agri as the foundation for a deeper dive into regional trade and inputs, a key point of collaboration with the entire Lower Mekong region. Agri data can inform mission programs whether through the creation of peer-to-peer -peer learning platforms based on AgriData or using Agri as an action-oriented m and &E tool, missions can engage with and receive support from Bureau for Food Security Technical Specialists on how best to use this unique tool as a platform for meaningful investments in the agribusiness-enabling environment.